having looked back for you guys about who has JV'd with us and what their profiles are, I've really settled it down to two profiles. The first one is the high-level professional, who again fits 13.3 uh, and, and is um, earning over 100,000, usually has net asset, not their own family home, of quarter million and above. So there's some real pluses to this person. They're usually um, very intelligent. They usually got some really great transferable skills. Um, they're, they're bright, they're interesting, they're sparky. They're very time poor usually, so they're very appreciative of you delivering on their behalf. The downside is um, they're used to a political system because they're working inside a corporation, and so they're quite skilled at political systems. I don't play politics, I won't play politics, that's why I'm not in a corporate job, because I don't need to put up with that crap. Um, so if some things go wrong, their kind of automatic response is to go into their corporate successful response to something going wrong, which is, shit, not my fault. Because, isn't it? You know, how do people climb corporate ladders? They, they don't climb corporate ladders by going, uh, I'll take that one on the chin for the team, thanks, do they? Because they don't stay in the corporation that long. So the downside, just be conscious of this, the downside is um, this is the segment that will wobble more because they're inexperienced, they work in a job, therefore they're not used to uh, variable opportunities that sometimes come with all the speed bumps. So they, they have thin skin, not thick skin. It's, it's nothing personal. I don't mean this in any rude way. I'm just, just an observation on all the people we've ever worked with and therefore they're going to bruise easier or cut easier and they're used to the corporate game so they're going to whap it back on you faster <coughs> so, and when they do that go it to yourself <laughs> I know what you're doing and I know why you're doing this this is learned behavior and you're used to being in control and you're now not in control and you're inexperienced and to you this is a very, I mean it is respectfully a large amount of money but it's a particularly large amount of money to somebody who's maybe earning kind of the price of that house per annum. So it's an entire year's work, you know, before tax. So of course there's going to be a response. So just look at it and breathe and go, ah, I recognise. Hmm, interesting. Nonetheless, um, they're still super people to work with generally, but just be aware that they have thinner skin, limited experience, and are used to being in control and are uncomfortable when it goes out of control and have learned corporate behaviour. My best, my best JV partners are business owners or former business owners. Why? Because they're used to making decisions themselves, they're used to owning those decisions, they used to, you know, they may have made a loss one year, and boy, does that teach them some good stuff. They're used to managing teams. They probably they know the insides of managing a team. So the, the corporate person wants to go to John Lewis and it wants a never knowingly undersold guarantee stamp, please. And you can't have a never knowingly undersold guarantee stamp. This is not a shop. There is not a ribbon and we can't unfortunately make it beautiful for Christmas. You know, it's bumpy and lumpy in property. Whereas the business owners have had bumpy, lumpy experiences haven't they they've had people quit on them and they've you know they've, they've had customers quit on them so they've they've developed a thicker skin and they've developed the, an attitude to risk which is probably more appropriate for this which is a variable opportunity a buy to sell proposition with all the lumps and bumps that come so this is my favorite segment to work with i mean, I mean we have some gorgeous people in the first segment so don't be put off but you will get less flack from the second segment and also you will get a huge amount of knowledge from the second segment. They'll, they'll know nothing about property, which is fine, because that's your expertise. They will have amazing business knowledge. I mean, to be fair, I'm just looking at you there, to be fair, your corporate background, your corporate skills, I drink them in all day long. So I, I'm not being totally rude about the first segment, because, I mean, has anybody read Jill's business plan? Mm. It rocks from high heaven. So, you know, clearly there are masses of great skills in that first segment. But these guys are usually ahead of you in business. Um, particularly the guys that have bought and sold their companies or developed their companies and sold their companies and made millions. They've been through the whole cycle. And you are now a project for them. So the first guys, they have very limited time for you because they're running to stand still in their day-to-day -day life. The second guys, particularly if they're sold out, and they've got nothing to do and they got a whole pot of money and they don't know what to do it with, 
and you're going to be fun for them. And so they're going to spend five minutes talking about the deal, because frankly, you know, it's pretty easy. What's it worth? What are you going to renovate it for? What's it going to sell for? What's the risks? Do we make a decision? Job done. I mean, that's as fast as you need to go on a deal. So now what do you do for the next hour and a half in your coffee? They t give you advice on your business. How cool is that? So in that segment, A, they'll navigate the bumps easier, um, and B, they will have high-level entrepreneurial business advice to share with you. So that's my favorite segment to work with. 